Hi guys, it's Adrian from adriancgmask.com and this is part 3 for creating a high poly object. And the third techniques for creating high poly mesh is creasing. If you go to the adriancgmask.com, search for techniques for creating high poly, you can find this article. I explain the whole techniques and process. You can apply these techniques to other 3D packages. Alright, the third technique is using creasing. Edge creasing is my favorite method for, for making a high poly object because, it, because it's uh, it gives me a lot of control over each individual edge. I can make, a, make an edge soft or sharp. Let me show you in the 3 d Max. Alright, this is an uh, object that I try to make a high poly version of it by using crease so if I go to the modifier list and add a crease set modifier I go to the edge sub object level and select the edges that I want to be sharp I select all these edges around the corner all the way here as you can see these are just goes all the way to the circle shape on top I just go to the crease set and add a crease set with the uh, like 0 0.5 value now we add a open sub dev modifier we increase the iteration like 4 now we have here is get a sharper edge here sharp here it goes through all the way of the mesh now we can go back to our preset modifier we can adjust the value of each individual edge like you want this edge which is soft we can create another preset and put the new preset to a low value like 0 0.1 and we put this one to select this edge loop create a new preset and put uh, these new edges to like one we have very sharp here and soft edge here and sharp edge around here let's see the result in observative and here we go we have a sharp you have a star from sharp edge, go to the soft and the circular edge loop, we get a sharp edge as well. Alright, let's delete the open sub dev and crease set and let's clean up the mesh. The mesh contains a triangle, it gives us a bad pinching and bad result. In open sub dev, we have to remove it remove all the triangles and the mesh like that now we have to make a we have to quadrify it but in order to get a quad out of this one we have to uh, insert a edge loop through here and connect these vertices on each side but Instead, uh, insert uh, insert edge loop it goes through all the mother and ruin the curvature right here on the cylinder we don't want that we can try different tools like a connect tool so we select all the edges and need to be we need to add a insert edge here it selects each side we can get a help from our friend here in the ribbon tool modify selection and hit similar it will select the rest of the edges for us beautiful now right, right click I go to the connect now it's insert edge loop for us beautiful look at that that's all we need now we have to connect it to the circular shape, shape on top for making a quad faces for geometry now it gives us a very good result increasing now for 
this part here we have a very we get a we will get a very bad result in me yeah, the open sub the like pinching and very bad results in order to fix this we select all these faces on top and we insert it insert these faces uh, at a very high value like that all right now we have to add a support edge loop in uh, between in uh, these longer faces here as well to get a good result when we add a creasing we add the here we have the insert edge loop here as well put a couple edge loop here here in the middle in here on top and it gives us a very good result nice let's add a let's select this edge loop and chamfer it it's better this way nice all right now we I forget about this circular shape on top we have to insert it at the high value and it gives us a quad all around nice now we go back and add a creaset we go back to another creaset we go to the edge selection uh, sub object level if we go to the select by face angle we can as the crease said modify it to select the hard edges for us let's put a 45 degrees angle here it's, it's select and we will do its best to select all the hard edges for us but as you can see here we have to manually select the the rest of the edges here and here as well nice after we select all the edges we go and add a crease set by 0 0.5 value and let's see the results in open sub let's increase the duration to like 4 nice beautiful and we get a good result here as well but we get a pinching here and we kind of lost or lost the shape here we have to add these these edges on the corner to a crease set all right let's go back to the crease set and add uh, these edges to the crease set all right we go back to the crease set and right click add selection to set and we see the result here now we get a much sharper edge here let's add uh, another set let's create another set for these edges at the corner here and put it at a uh, much lower value because I want to have a smooth transition to a sharp edge and to a soft edge then go to a sharp as well it gives us a very beautiful result at the end so we select these edges we create new set and put it at 0 0.2 now select the the last edges at the top corner these four we create new set put it at 0 0.1 nice now let's see the results in the open sub -div. now we get a beautiful like a smooth transition we can even increase go back and just increase this value like point zero one and like eight to make it a little bit more sharper beautiful beautiful look at that all right let's fix this pinching issues at the bottom 
in order to fix this if we select the first set crease set we have go right click select element in sets we have to add these um, these edges to the selection to get rid of that uh, the pinching issues we have we go and add selection to sit now these edges now like part of uh, these edge set we go back to the open soft dev and see the result nice no pinching here and but we get a weird result right here because uh, it was a mistake we don't want select these edges let deselect these edges at the corner and we update the selection update set from selection now we go back to open sub dev now we have we get a beautiful great results nice look at that beautiful uh, the downside of using the crease set in 3ds max is if you go back to the editable poly and we change something like i change like i want to remove these this um edge loop i remove it i go to the crease set and suddenly everything falls apart the crease set does not work i go to the open sub dev and everything is just is a mess so I undo that if I want to change anything to the model I have to add a edit poly modifier on top of or crease set now here I can remove anything I want like here I can destroy the mesh but crease set still work look at that it is still working because I add the uh, edit poly on top of that. All right, undo that. And let's delete at a the poly. All right, beautiful. Now there is another method and uh, technique for creating a creasing, and that does not require for us to individually select all the all these edges and apply it to a crease set and this method is called using a modifier that called data channel let's delete open subdiv and crease sets go back to the where we are started i go to the modifier list i choose channel data channel let me if i can find it here or right, data channel nice i go to the data channel in the preset i choose auto edge crease weight i load it and i wait for it to work i go to the display this disable display and let's just add the open sub -tils. Let's see what we get. Boom. Like that. We have a perfect high poly result here. Even at the top, we have a sharp. Go to the smooth at the top. But as you can see here at the cylinder, we have these issues. It kind of add a creasing in these edge loop on the cylinder. We don't want that so we can we have a this is data channel is a procedural kind of creasing method uh, for adding creasing but we have a we have some control over it by going to the curve curve control and let's just decrease the value let's just enable showing results and now we have a perfect cylinder at the bottom look at that if we increase the value obviously we have everything is sharp let's go back and 
go to the open sub dev and see the result and here again we have a pension issues and here at the end of the box let me head door circular shape at the bottom the, in order to fix these issues we cannot individually pick uh, pick a uh, pick this age and try to increase it but we can add a edit poly on top of our data channel modifier and select uh, these edges that we select before right here as well and in the edit edges go to the edge properties and I can put the crease value right here I can change any crease values right here in the edit poly edit properties and change the crease into like 0.5 now, if we go back to the open soft, they will get rid of that issues. Beautiful. We can even add another edit poly on top, and let's try like this. This edge loop all the way through here. Let's make it sharp, very sharp. I go to the edit properties, increase. The creasing value to one. I go back to open sub dev and boom. We increase the we have a hard edge right here. Beautiful. Now if we delete the data poly, obviously we remove that crease value. Beautiful. As you can see here, um Chris said it gives us a much more power but it's time consuming we have to select all the edges here and be selected we have a have a very good geometry to begin with and a data channel is a procedural way is way faster than any method for creating a high poly object ever <laughs> like it's the fastest of all all of them it's, it's fast like uh, adding a chamfer modifier but data channel is way better than chamfer modifier because it does not change the mesh it does not add anything to it it's beautiful so data channel on top of that adding the edit poly and individually I can change each edges on the model and make it more sharp or soft this is amazing all right and this was the end of the tutorial subscribe hit the thumbs up button and see you guys on the next video bye bye